There's so much local change to keep track of. It, it's good to you know, not just be focused on uh, the big picture, but also focus on what's going on in your own community. Travis Caggy is one of the 1.7 million North Carolinians casting their ballot early. It's always less of a crowd. Uh, it's just a much uh, simpler process and different choices of where to go to, to vote rather than just being locked into a particular polling location. The appeal catching on for others as early voting numbers reveal voting turnout is trending higher than in the 2018 midterm. This is welcome news for Kate Feldman's team, which works to increase voter registration and turnout. Past couple of years, you know, it's been really hard, but the good thing is that people are understanding how their elected officials impact their lives. Other statewide data shows voter turnout so far is higher for Democrats, which is usually the case in early voting. Black voters are turning out at the same rates as four years ago. If that goes up a little bit, then that could be good for Democrats. If it goes down a little bit, that could be good for Republicans. So, you know, everybody's keeping their eye on the specific demographic groups and trying to interpret what it means. Younger voters are another group McClellan says Democrats would love to see increased turnout for. So far, the youngest voters are holding at the same rate as in 2018, representing just around 3% of the early ballots cast. Young voters are motivated pretty strongly by the abortion issue, but will that motivate them to actually vote? That's the question. So I think this is a real interesting election in that we have some common issues and then some voting groups have very different perspectives on what's second or third in terms of their priority list. Pew Research reporting the economy, violent crime and foreign policy are top issues for voters this election. McClellan's poll finding this is translating to higher voter enthusiasm as 70% of people polled said they were not satisfied with the direction of the country. People are just motivated to vote these days because the stakes are so high. We've got democracy on the ballot. We've got key issues on the ballot. Around 53% of North Carolinians voted in the midterm election in 2018. So far, we're at about 24%. So as for if we break that record and how these demographics might impact races, well, we'll just have to wait and see until Tuesday. For the I-Team, Samantha Kumar, ABC 11 Eyewitness News.